Hey everybody, KP here. I am in my uh, school's archaeology lab today. It is Saturday, long story. But yes, I am here working on an archaeology project. It's a team project. Yo, look at the shine in the hair. Anyway, that is what gray hair does to, to people, y'all. We just gonna stay behind the board like that. That way you can't really tell. <laughs> no, for real. I'm gonna flip the camera around so y'all can see what I'm working on. So hold on a minute. All right, so this is sort of the table where I'm working. Uh, we have like the larger room. Nothing you really need to see, but this is our lab. So this is my team's box, one of our boxes. And we have uh, parent bags in here from several units. And then I have this giant parent bag and we're just going through sort of like rebagging things. Um, we had lots of big bags of like ferrous metal and other materials. So I'm going through and categorizing things and putting them in smaller bags so that they can be entered into our digital database. Uh, so that's pretty much what's going on here. Um, I have a group it's three of us and we're working together to complete this box and da, 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 over here this box which doesn't actually have a top yet but we're working on it <laughs> um, and the whole class I think there's a class we have about four or five groups but all of us are working together to complete different boxes. Those are the boxes that you saw in the corner over there. Each group has their own box or a couple of boxes. And we're all trying to get experience like with rebagging, with washing if we need to, um, with sorting and categorizing, and then putting things into the catalog. Um, you can see these are some of the things that had to be cleaned. One of my teammates cleaned it. We didn't know what they were. Uh, but now we do. Um, this was one that came out of that list. We have fire cracked rock, quartz fire cracked rock. Um, we had some shell to come out of that. Uh, we had this, which is actually, my teacher said it's a piece of burned glass. I thought it was glass, but then I was like, I don't know. So I put it back with the rocks, and then she was like, no, it's actually glass. So cool. We had this thing which at first my teacher was like, that's a rubber band. I was like, no, that's totally metal. And then after playing with it, we're like, yeah, it's a piece of like copper or bronze metal. It's got like a greenish color, which maybe you can kind of see underneath the green. And then we had some brick come out of that wash group. Um, there's also like some uh, daub and other things in there. And what else came out of there? I thought we had some bone somewhere but I won't be showing that anyway but I think we had some bone come out of that as well so yeah I'm just working through it we have metals of various sizes that all came out of the same unit so we've got this thing which looks like it maybe was a tool we've got some square nails that came out uh, these things we're just kind of calling them five inch nails but we don't really know what they are um, some strap metal, some random nail bits and bobs, <laughs> and what else? We have these things that kind of look like they could be sheet metal, but it's hard to tell, but they're larger pieces, and they're all kind of crumpled. I don't know if you can see in here the shine on there, but the metal kind of goes in like a fold. And then here, what I call the metal taco. <laughs> if you look at it this way, it literally is folded like a taco with like all of the uh, corrosion and stuff inside. But these actually have like a rim around it, which are kind of similar to these guys over here, but also kind of different. So I don't know, but you can clearly see like the, the thicker edge here that makes like a rim. So it could be like the rim for a bucket or a container of some kind. And then over here, we've got some more possible sheet metal. We actually had to go through some of this with a um, with a magnet because it was all just piled into one bag. <laughs> and I think within the bag, it was separated into large metal and small metal or something. 
um, like this bag I'm still sorting through um, so we have a lot of stuff like that that just is unknown like it could be metal in the field it's hard to tell sometimes everything's covered in dirt and sometimes even mud or clay um, and metal you don't really want to wash so <laughs> It just, uh, it can be hard to tell sometimes. So when we process it in the lab, we try to figure out what's what. Um, but sometimes you just don't know. So that's kind of what I'm working with. Um, every time we do something with the bag, we put it in this log. This Well, this is for our parent bags anyway. Um, and then, yeah, that's about it. Um, over here, we created our database I actually created the database myself um, as the teacher covers a different topic I'll show you our log here um, this is from the lab manual these are how we sort for our categories so as a teacher covers each one of these categories in class um, she tells us how she wants them sorted and then I go in and I create this sort of form um, the form reads or feeds into an Excel spreadsheet so you could basically accomplish the same thing in a spreadsheet but the form is here for like um, data <laughs> integrity we want to make sure everybody's putting in the same information using the same terms so with the form having like specific selections it makes it easier and actually these are branched so if you select ceramics you get a type, a different type of drop down down here. Um, if you select metal or glass or lithics or whatever, all of the other information changes. And then that goes, oops, wrong tab. Sorry for all the tabs up there. <laughs> that goes directly into our spreadsheet here. And you can see all of their categories across the top. Um, that's for everything but only the areas that pertain to whatever objects we're working with are in here. So you can see the different objects and how many we have, um, notes about them, we have the weight, uh, so things like that. Um, and then everybody in class will upload this information to a larger database, which we have someone coming to class to talk to us about that um, next week, I think. So that's pretty much what we're doing. Um, it's not super complicated. Like the database part is a little complicated because I don't think any of us knew that's what we were going to do in class. Um, but it is an important part of learning how the data is um, sort of, I guess, stored and kept safe because <laughs> It would stink if we didn't have a larger database and no one knew what was in any, in any of these boxes or anything like that. So there's a ton of boxes in here um, and in other parts of the school where they're being stored. Uh, also, you know, it helps if you're doing research to be able to just like type in keywords or whatever <laughs> and search and see what pops up, which I might be doing soon. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, I'm learning a lot. It's very fun to do the lab class. Uh, group work, not so fun, um, but it is what it is, you know. It's very similar to real life. That hair is back. I tell you what, y'all. <laughs> All right, yay for gray hair. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know if you learned anything. It wasn't really educational. It's more just about what I'm doing in class. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye.